nakakaramdam ba kayo ng sluggishness? Pwede ring oversleeping o kaya overstressed? Katulad ng ating mga isipan, kinakailangan ng reset ang ating mga katawan, lalo na ngayong panahon ng pandemic. Ang daming online cleanses and fasts. Merong water, juice, intermittent fasting, meron din mga liver, kidney, gallbladder flushes, parasite cleanse. Kailangan pa natin ito? Makakatulong ba? Is it safe? Ito po ang pros and cons. Ang possible benefits ay high quantities of vitamins and minerals. Anti-inflammatory. Juicing helps the body for immune and energy boosting. Helps create enzymes for gut efficiency. Ang possible risks ay Paghihilo Fainting Headaches due to less calories Temporary weight loss And pre-existing conditions possibly magworsen. In 2012, I was hospitalized for E. coli. Ang ibig sabihin po noon is food poisoning. Now, ang binigay nila sa akin, antibiotics and medicines was so strong that it also killed all of the good bacteria in my digestive system and left it very, very weak. Also, ang diet ko back then was not that great. It was poor in quality and lacking in nutrition. And also because of my taping schedule, I developed insomnia dahil lagi ako nagpupuyat. For two years, this caused a lot of inflammation. Gas and heartburn, bloatedness, irritability, constant fatigue, and food intolerances as well as poor digestion. So, nag-decide ako to try a cleanse. In 2014, ang pinsan ko na si Camilla Griggers nag-share sa akin ng Superfeed Feel Detox. She personally came to the Philippines and guided me through it. At sa supervision niya, 10 days ang ginawa kong liquid fasting in between my shooting schedule and various events. At sa opinion ko, it helped detox my liver, improve my bad eating habits, Increase my energy levels and give me a greater sense of wellness. Ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng juice cleanse? Well, a juice cleanse is simply a liquid fast where you stop eating solid foods. Simply to give your digestive system rest and time to restore your gut microbiome. Hindi po siya starvation. And you can drink as much liquid as you want anytime whenever you're hungry wala pong limit fresh juices aside from stocking up on your favorite vegetables and fruits to juice dapat i-contact nyo ang inyong local juicer for fresh cold pressed juices you can also juice on your own at home make sure you have a reliable source of organic vegetables and fruits potassium broth with coconut oil. Coconut oil is a good source of fat and omega-3. Honey lemon drink. Pwede rin kalamansi. Coconut water or buku juice. Kombucha. Herbal decaf teas.
lots of water. Ang plant-based protein na superfood na pwedeng isama sa juicing is spinach, alugbati, malunggay, toge, to name a few. Pwede rin kayo bumili ng powdered or liquid superfood na merong spirulina. At ang pinaka-source ng fiber ng ating juice cleanse is chia seeds na rich in omega-3. Since nag-expand ang chia seeds when absorbed by liquid, it will give us a feeling of fullness. Pwede natin itagdag sa mga juice drinks natin para hindi tayo palaging nakakaramdam ng sobrang gutom. Ngayon, alam nyo na kung ano ang mga drinks na pwede. Ito naman ang hindi. Caffeine. Soda. Sugary or artificially sweetened drinks. Dairy, flavored milks, alcohol. Artificial juice drinks. Going raw. Para ma-prepare nyo ang katawan ninyo for liquids only, it's recommended that you go raw. Raw means uncooked fruits and vegetables either in the form of salad or blended shakes. Ito ang magbibigay ng chance para yung stomach nyo makapag-prepare from going from solids to liquids. Now, you can eat as much as you want, but hindi pwede ang raw animal protein katulad ng eggs, kilawin, sashimi, tartar. Usually, ginagawa ko ng two days kasi kumakain naman na ako ng healthy. Pero, if you want to progress into it slowly, you can do it over a longer period of time, katulad ng five days or one week. Nasa sa inyo po yan kasi um, it's really up to your body. Kayo na magdidictate. Warning, this will be the hardest part. But once you do it, it will make your juice cleanse experience more manageable and more successful. At hindi kayo magkikwit prematurely. Ito ang mga halimbawa ng raw foods. Okay, this is day one. I am very well hydrated. I had a liter of juice. I'm having my honey lemon. I had potassium broth, kombucha. Right now, at this very moment, I'm feeling okay. Earlier, at around one o'clock, when I usually have my lunch, hindi naman ako nakaramdam ng stomach hunger. It was more of my brain saying to my body na kailangan yun ng food. And nung hindi ko siya binigyan ng food, sumakit ang ulo ko. Nawala naman after like 30 minutes. Pero it wasn't painful. So I was able to go through the ebb and flow of a headache um, because, of the, uh, because of the fast. Feeling a little tired today because of the reduction of calories and feeling uh, may konting headache pa rin. But I have a confession to make. Yesterday, uh, dumaan kami ni Blondie sa town center and may donut shop doon. Naisip ko, if I eat the donut, should I eat the donut? <laughs> donut, donut. Do not do not go. But did I eat it? No, I didn't oh. eat the donut because I realized go I don't want to break my fast yet. I'm not ready yet. Can always have a donut later on if I still want it. If you break the fast, if you consciously start eating again, then you've wasted the 
one, two days, or how many hours you've already started your fast. Unless you want to break it already, then go ahead and eat. Pero kung hindi pa, wag muna at least is pa ng konti. So, I'm hoping that I can still make it to day seven because nag-iisip na nga ako ng pagkain. So what I did was a enema and after the enema which cleared my system of all the toxins I felt much better and continued on day six seven all the way to eight here is a bag for enema you just fill it with 1.5 around 1.5 liters of liquid it can be water it can be coffee in my case I did water lung and I felt better the next day. To recap, I did eight days of juicing with two days of raw coming in and then two days coming out. So in total, I did 12 days. Ha! <sighs> how did I do and how do I feel? Well, I honestly felt really good, pero hindi kaagad. It really took a few days bago makita yung changes and the effects like for example gumanda yung skin ko uh, I felt na less bloated uh, yung gas ang laki ng improvement na I felt less gassy uh, better sleep I had more energy and mas alert ako this experience really helped me also minimize my junk food cravings it also inspired me to look into intermittent fasting and ketosis more closely. So if you're curious about ketosis and a keto diet, that blog will be coming up next. And if you're interested naman in IF, well, that blog is already out. I'm still doing IF three months na. So three months later, it's been helping me to maintain my weight. Now, I hope this video has given you some insight but please don't just take my word for it. Dapat mag-research din kayo at mag-consulta kayo sa inyong mga doktor to make sure that this is the right regimen for you. All the links are included in my description to make your experience a successful one. Kaya good luck and stay safe. Remember, you can do whatever your mind sets on doing. Where you direct your thoughts, the energy will flow. Last, learn, empower, and inspire. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Guys, thanks for watching my video. And if you liked it, please subscribe. If you didn't like it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs>